Tschüss. I thought he might be better off at his mum's anyway because I like a drink and um, we weren't good together really, we were drinking buddies. We'd had an argument and I threw him out a couple of weeks before. Every time he came round I wanted to give him a hug and I never did. Just kept thinking, oh I'll do it next time. And then there wasn't a next time. There's so much I wanted to do and say and I messed it all up, I messed it all up the last few months. I should have been stronger. I wonder if it was his time to go. Do you believe there's a time to be born and a time to die? Because I, I don't know. That's, you know, so I'd never forgive myself if I thought that he could have, he could have lived if I'd have been with him. And if he'd have been here. So I went to see um, a spiritualist then, because I was looking for answers. I thought, well, surely this isn't the end. Well, you don't want it to be, you want to see them again, don't you? And um, I kept looking for Kevin coming through, but he never did. This John, you're going to hear something about John. All of a sudden, this gentleman came through, and he said, through the psyche, he said, I could drink anybody under the table. I thought, oh my God. And um, the, the psychic said, you used to have a lot of fun together, didn't you? We did, drinking, <laughs> being naughty, partying. And if I gave you roundabout, please, the 12th of March for a birthday or a passing, would you understand that? 12th of March is my birthday. Right, thank you. He said uh, he hopes all my wishes come true. And um, it was lovely. So it sounds like it was him. When I look at my life now, it's like it's been cut right down the middle. When I do something or I think about something, I think, was that before Margaret died or was it after Margaret died? She had two rings. You have her two rings? Okay, thank you. You've been talking to Susan. Oh, she's next door to you. I might give yourself a city in a minute. People fear death if they think this is a once-off once thing. You know, uh, we come from the ground, we go back in the ground, end of thing. No, not like that at all. Not like that at all. No, done with. Does that make sense? You already thought this, haven't you? And you could see that a lot of the people that are on that photograph are now up in the world of spirit as well. Right. And what he's giving me here, he's giving me some sand to give to you. So I know that somebody would have brought, you know, maybe like all the different coloured sands from the Isle of Man. I've been looking at a bottle today full of different coloured sands. There we go. If you think that this is the beginning and end of everything, then what, what you do doesn't really matter, does it? You can go and kill or rape or whatever. Eh? But if you know there's an afterlife and, and that you're not going to get out of it, no matter what you do, take your own life or whatever, you're still going to be there. It's bad to affect your life, isn't it? If I were to die now, but tomorrow, it wouldn't bother me because I know I'll see Margaret again. <laughs>